love. Welcome home to Eden. This is Eve Kristoff, your Love Life Muse. And we are going to do a magical meditation right now to help you bring more love into your life. This is either the love of your life or creating that the love you already have becomes more of the love of your life. <laughs> All right? So, here we go. First thing is, you're going to empty your cup. All right. This is a big deal. <laughs> so, to empty your cup, uh, you need to look at, are you full of some grievances with the ones in your life that you need to express, that you need to uh, work through? If so, that's fine. It's normal. <laughs> And you might need to do an exercise called withholds with them, where you, you pull withholds. Tell me something, beloved, that you've been withholding from me. And every time they tell you what it is, you say, thank you, tell me more, tell me more, tell me more. You pull from each other all the negativities and all the positivities, all the vulnerabilities, until your cup is empty. All right? Now here's another way your cup can be a little too full. If you're wanting to <laughs> manifest the love of your life, your new uh, great divine love, and you're already involved with someone and it's not really what you want, but you don't let them go <laughs> because it's better than nothing, uh, imagine that you, you have this chalice and you keep saying to the universe, Universe, fill my cup! Fill it up! I'm so ready! And the universe comes with this divine nectar and it goes, Ah! But your cup is full! <laughs> and it tries to pour a little something, a couple drops, and it starts to overflow. It's like, okay, that's all I could give you, a couple drops there. So, really, if you're going to manifest the love of your life, you need to say goodbye to the people um, who are placeholders, uh, not goodbye in terms of out of your life. They will be your friends forever, hopefully. They will be, they will respect you even more for telling them, look, I'm looking for something fuller, deeper, wider, longer, uh, with, with more complexity and fullness for all of who I am. The, the little dimension that we have has been absolutely magical, but I, I need to go uh, farther now. So let's change the relationship into a beautiful friendship. And you do this in advance before things, before you get with somebody else and you like tell them, oh, I found somebody else. That's so tacky. <laughs> all right. So, because you're uh, also, who comes has complete um, relatability to how empty your cup is. That's how full and complete the, the person is or the love is, depending on if you're already in a relationship, if you've emptied your cup of negativity, or if you're not in one, if you've emptied your cup of uh, relationships that are not really what you need. Okay, so you've done that now. Let's say you've done that. <laughs> you Right now in your mind, you've made the commitment, I'm going to let go of these, these relationships that aren't working as fully as I need them to, and I'm going to let go of all this negativity. You can also let go of your negativity without saying a word to your partner. You just go lay on the earth, hug a tree, stand in the rain, and tell the universe, I'm done with my, my negative complaining. I just want to love. So now you go to your vortex. Okay, this is the place where you are whole. You are shining. You are blissful. You are, you are complete. You are strong. You are radiant. You are in your life mission, your dharma, your natural wealth your um, freedom of enlightenment. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a, the vortex. It's like it's actually a realm of spirit where you are, you meditate. You're going to close your eyes perhaps now or do this later. And you just take yourself to that place. And maybe you see a sunset or a sunrise in this place, uh, a beautiful ocean. And this is where you are feeling your wholeness. So you're going to manifest somebody from your place of wholeness this time, not your place of need, your place of loneliness, desperation, um, <laughs> uh, 
uh, identity crisis. <laughs> uh, no, this time actually you're going to manifest a, a, a co, uh, co-pilot, co-conspirator from the place of wholeness. So uh, as you're feeling your wholeness, your completeness that's a it's very funny it's like you don't need anybody when you're in this place you don't need anything you got your divine creativity and your, your your unity with the universe but from this place you see somebody coming on the horizon shining brilliantly sparkling and it's the light body of this person. You can't see their features. You can't see their height or their ethnicity or anything beyond the fact that you can see their energy body. And you can see that this being is in their wholeness, is in their completeness. You can see the golden strands that are connecting them to the universal uh, source of love. And you can feel your own strands connecting you to universal uh, <laughs> goddess of love. And you see the golden strands that flow through the air between the two of you. These are your deep connections from many lifetimes, many, many um, chakra dimensions, many um, uh, uh, parts of your mind, heart, spirit, body, uh, chemistry, uh, and the smile is spreading through you. The smile of your complete, um, ooh, miracle is coming. Miracle is coming. Miracle is here now. Feel this, this, the merging with your light bodies as this, and your strands get closer, wrapping around you like those paintings we've seen, those mystical paintings. And, and here you are in your swirling energy, and you can feel the, the glowing love between you going like a figure eight through the other person to you back again through and back again and this is this is the synergy of your relationship that is naturally flowing with give and uh, receptivity and giving okay so now you're going to take this meditation a little further by going and masturbating <laughs> and getting the bliss part of your your body connected to the image of this bliss all right now if you were doing this for your partnership you're already in, then you want to see their, the, that it's them. See that their features, see them in their health and their wholeness, okay? And by doing this, this meditation with, with your wife or your husband, you can do it together lying side by side, or you can just do it on your own. And um, when, you, when they come to you on the horizon and they come closer and it's your own wife or your own husband, I want you to say the Ho'oponopono words. Um, Thank you so much for everything you've given me. I am so sorry for what I've done that's closed you off at times or made you feel whatever it is lately. I apologize for what I've done. I really do. It, I, I take responsibility for what I did that caused you that suffering. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I love you. I love you the way you are. I love you. I love the challenges you bring me. I love the changes you put me through. I, I love the way that that um, you're not uh, all these things that I, I don't just get it so easy and, and, and you make me um, grow. <laughs> what a privilege it is to give you what you need. What a privilege it is to, to be the one to make you feel how adorable, special, what a miracle you are, what a blessing you are. Thank you for giving me the right to shower you with, with gifts that are the gifts you want. Okay, <laughs> so um, masturbate again <laughs> or make love with each other if you're doing this together. Much love, darling. This should this should bring some real magic <laughs> into into your night and into your life. 
this is the place from which manifestation happens on a whole nother level because when you manifest from your wholeness rather than your neediness you manifest a person who's also in wholeness whereas if you manifest from your neediness you manifest somebody who's also in their neediness <laughs> so try this okay I want to hear all about it. Send me a message when your miracles start to woo, totally happen. Okay. Much love, darling. Love. Life.